Now this is a follow up to my video which is talking about getting back your sense of smell due to COVID. So if you know anyone going through loss of smell, please share the video and if you like it, subscribe. In this video, we will focus on the medical treatments that can help get your sense of smell back and we'll focus mainly on the role of steroids, which I did mention briefly in the other video. Now we've had people who've had lots of smell due to COVID and going for several months. They've tried smell training, which involves sniffing of essential oils, zinc, vitamin A, omega-3 supplements, acupuncture, you name it, nothing's worked. And the question is, what's next? Well, what's next is really the use of steroids. Now, most people with loss of smell have not been able to try steroids for several reasons. You know, first of all, steroids are not available over the counter, so you would have to get it on prescription from your GP. Also, people with underlying health condition might not be able to use steroids for different reasons. If you've also had COVID-19 recently within the last two weeks, you should not use any steroid tablets unless you have an underlying condition where you would basically need to use steroids such as asthma or COPD. Because usually with COVID-19, you're immunosuppressed and it is thought that use of steroids within the first two weeks can actually increase the shedding of the virus. Steroids in our society also has a negative perception. You know, when you think of steroid use, you think of bodybuilders or you think of wrestlers, athletes who are drug cheats, who would use steroids to boost their performance. The jury is still out on the effectiveness of steroids in the loss of smell, and some doctors actually advocate against using steroids in the loss of smell, and would rather prefer that you use smell training and other methods. However, if you've tried this method and nothing's worked, and you're desperate, you've got nothing to lose. Most people with loss of smell tend to recover within two weeks, but after two weeks, if you still have loss of smell, it's worth trying your smell training, vitamin A, zinc, omega-3 supplements, and then you can also consider steroids, which can be used in combination with any of these treatments. I mean, in terms of steroids, there are two types of steroids. You've got the topical steroids, which come in the form of sprays and drops. You've got the oral steroids, which come in the form of tablets. I mean, I do not think personally that the topical steroids are that effective compared to the oral steroids. I mean, the topical steroids are usually given through the nose. You've got your sprays and your drops, and they're usually given for four to six weeks. Usually the sprays are more effective if you've got blocked nose or inflammation of the lining of the nose. However, it is worth giving it a go if you're not keen on oral steroids. If you want to be brave and want to go for oral steroids, we're talking about prednisolone tablets. Um, studies have shown that 40 mg of prednisolone given for 5 to 10 days have been effective in really improving your sense of smell. There are other different doses that have been tried, such as 32 mg prednisolone given for 5 days or 8 mg methylprednisolone given twice a day for 5 days as well. Just be aware that steroids are all about the side effects. We're talking about acid reflux, stomach ulcers, mood swings like depression or even psychosis in some cases, um, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, muscle weakness, you name it. There are lots of side effects with steroids. However, with a short course, it is hoped that these side effects can be avoided or at least minimized. My previous video on loss of smell details how you can be referred to special clinics like the Anosmia Clinic or the Ear, Nose and Throat COVID Clinic. And this depends on if you live in London or outside of London. Usually, you should have had loss of smell for more than six weeks with no other underlying cause or explanation. What the ENT doctors would like to do would be to rule out other possible underlying causes. So they might want to do an endoscopy, which is a camera that looks into the nose, or they might want to do a CT or MRI brain scan. If you have other associated symptoms, such as headaches or dizziness, or any neurological symptoms, just to rule out any pathology in the brain that might be contributing to your loss of smell. Otherwise, if you had loss of smell, and you're COVID positive with no other underlying symptoms is usually quite straightforward and most cases no investigations done. Currently there are trial studies ongoing on the use of steroids and the loss of smell so it's worth speaking to your doctor to see if you can be enrolled into these studies. However what scientists now say is that there are different ways that COVID-19 affects your sense of smell in which some people recover within 6 to 18 months, some people have a funny smell like burning substances or smoke called the parasmir effect, or some people might not recover the smell ever. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the damage to the nerve cells and the receptors because they are currently undergoing studies. 
and we might have to cover this in another video when there's more information available. But the reason why I mention this is that scientists think that the use of steroids is not so effective in those who've had damage to the nerve cells and receptors because steroids are thought more to help with the reducing the inflammation around the nerve cells as opposed to regeneration of the nerve cells, which on its own can take up to two years in some cases. You can check my description for useful ENT links on loss of smell, use of steroids and other methods such as smell training. I really do hope you get back your sense of smell. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like my video.